it, to put them up there because he won't do the other exercise. And that's just the worst thing. The first class player is supposed to have the work ethics. Now, Norman works out like God, right? He gets 10 points for that. You know what's happening. You're supposed to do that. Yeah, right. But uh, this is not, uh, what I want to say here is that it's a little difficult for him to be in these positions because he hasn't swung this way. It's not because he's lazy. Because he hasn't, he hasn't, he's gone a little more upright or something. Like when you're younger, did you always go up? No, I think I was more this way. Well, the thing is, here's what here's where guys don't know on tour. They take it inside, they're afraid you come under, you're stuck, and you go mm -hmm. off to the left. You don't know when you go up like this, the left shoulder's going to stay down, and then the left arm out will be fine. They don't know that. That's it. It's not fluid, but not, not supported. That's what I meant by that was, they get over here like this, guys, they, they don't want to take their hands up the plane over here like this, because then if they take it right down the plane like this, they're going straight out to the right. So Amara takes it inside here like this, and comes under and goes out to the right, and goes this way. They don't know, guys don't want to take it inside, you know, uh, P1 to P2. Uh, a lot of guys bend the back of the right wrist like John David does. They go way inside. They go up like this, they come under, they're too, they're way too slow. Even if you just go P1 to P2 like this, the club head's going inside, the hands are going inside P1 to P2. And then as the hands keep going up, 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 up this is right where the plane is, right? And then guys go under right away, left shoulder comes up. But what they don't know is the left, but put your shaft parallel to the ground just below my left shoulder. But they don't realize that I've got to keep my left shoulder level, 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 level like this until my left arm. The hips do that. The hips and the elbow return like this. Hips bring it out, and the right elbow bang goes to the T5. T5 like this, the right elbow starts to straighten out, and the shoulders simultaneously start to come down more vertical. You put this like two inches away here. P6 to P7 now. Right wrist releases, and then the right shoulder's got to go forward, under, and forward quickly, like this, back. And that's got to go forward. You see the way from that spot. It's got to come up, so it's got to be released. They don't know that. They don't know that you've got to keep the left shoulder on the seat like that. It's CFD. If one goes CF, it's 95% of the exact same. P4 to P5, except it's 5 or 10 degrees in time. It's exactly the same. Don't go up too early. That shoulder's got to stay down until the left arm gets 5 to 10 degrees inside. Comes then it goes under right away. Right over strains out. Shoulders go vertical, weights left. Then just go straight inside on the other. So the sequencing from P4 to P5 for CPCF is almost, almost the same. It just goes about 5 to 10 degrees here, waist left. Right elbow straight up, shoulders go vertical. From here, I gotta release the back of my right wrist. And Mr. Alexander, then what do I do? Right the elbow. Uh, yep, but something else too. Right shoulder. Right vertical shoulders. Yeah, yeah. Because my shoulders are all going vertical. If I do my right shoulder stays here, this will turn over. I've got to fire my right shoulder, it's got to thrust forward. It's got, it's got to thrust forward. Has to, has to go. Right. If it goes here, if it slows now, <laughs> so the picture is the guy's going, like, <laughs> he, he's right at the tailbone, but the right shoulder's got to thrust forward. Once you're down here at P, no. once you're at P5, P6 shoulder's going vertical, <coughs> back, the right shoulder's got to thrust. If you want to go CF, it's 95% of the exact same motion, P4 to P5, except five or ten degrees in time. It's exactly the same. Don't go up too early. That shoulder's got to stay down until the left arm gets five to ten degrees inside. Comes then it goes under right away. Right over strains out. Shoulders go vertical, weights left. Then just go straight inside on the other. So the sequencing from P4 to P5 for CPCF is almost the same. Almost the same. And it just goes about five to ten, to ten degrees here, waist left. Right over strains out. Shoulders go vertical. From here, I gotta release the back of my right wrist. And Mr. Alexander, then what do I do? Right the tailbone. Uh, yep, yeah, but something else too. Right shoulder. Right vertical shoulders. Yeah, yeah. Because my shoulders are all going for I can if my right shoulder stays here, this will turn over. I've got to fire my right shoulder, it's got to thrust forward. It's 
got, it's gone too far. It's launched forward. It has to. Let's go. Wait. If it goes here, if it slows now. So the picture is the guy's going. So he, he's right there, but the right shoulder's got to thrust forward. Once you're down here at P, no. Once you're at P5, P6 shoulder's going vertical. <coughs> back, the right shoulder's going to thrust. I go, if I keep my right shoulder forward, my left shoulder's going to stretch around like this. I look at my right shoulder. Okay? This, bo this booger's got to be released like this. You feel it? Okay? Now, I'm going to go P1 to P2. As I keep going up, 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 the right shoulder stretch. Now, this is forward. But when I was at rest, it was in. As I go to the top like this, that right shoulder blade's got to stretch back. Now, the key here is, the top looks a little bit like, I think Ed will confirm this, he saw it, right? It looked like this, took it up, 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 up here, like here. Then, if this shoulder blade keeps stretching, and this stays, keeps the clavicle down, you got to pivot that up. That left shoulder blade's got to be stretched. The right shoulder blade's got to be stretched. And you got to hit your pivot. You got to pivot's going to pick that in there like this. So there's a point where you get the maximum stretch. He didn't get, he didn't just quite didn't have it. Put it right over here about like this. And then all of a sudden, the arms went up because the, the shoulder blade went up. You go back to the picture to see it's like this, right? Uh-oh. This burger's got to stay down. This is what Seve did for him. Seve went up and Seve went like this. Very small, but it's, but it's noticeable going over with a little bit, just a little bit, okay? Now the, the right elbow is going to bend, that's going to move this burger up a little bit. You've got to make sure it's going to go from the edge to the right edge. Okay? Three. Here we go. Over time. 